Hey, this is Commander Bacon with His Way Homestead, and today we are going to work on the fence some more. This will be episode 10, or part 10, of Building a Fence. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be rolling out the fence and stretching it and attaching it to the post. So stay tuned. Hope you like it. video I just didn't tell you oh this is gonna be our first run we'll let you know how it goes but we've got it secured on that end and we've got this the stretcher bar and we've got this the stretchers pulling this now we have to go to that end and tie the knots on that end of the fence that's it and then we'll come back and staple it to the poles and also wire tie it to the T post. So we're good. So we got the fence stretched, and now what I'm doing, I'm stapling it to the wooden post first. So to get it up, I want to get it like a this high off the ground so we can weed eat underneath of it and, and take care of the fence better. And so once you lift it up, then you put your first staple at the top, put a staple at the bottom, and then we're going to staple every other wire. It's really windy. <laughs> yeah, so sorry about the wind noise. So once we get all the wooden posts stapled, then we'll go back to the T-post with the T-post clips, and I'll show you how we do that. So all you do is put it across the horizontal part, and <laughs> if I can do it, you squeeze those together the best you can, shove this special socket up on there, and you're done. Pretty easy. But there's a ton of them. <laughs> But I think what you need to do is put the short, there's a short leg here, a long leg. I think the short leg needs to be to the front of the fence. I think it it holds everything in the correct place better. So you just pull them together. And that's it. It's easy. Very easy. This This won't take long at all much better than the standard type clips where you have to you know hook it around and then wrap a leg around and do all that so it's easy all right so we stripped about 18 24 inches off of it and what you have to do you have to shove it around the pole and take it through and here's here's the gripple and, and you, the uh, there's a small hole and there's a large hole the small hole goes on the bottom okay so what we're going to do is we're going to shove it on that wire and then we're going to take it, turn it, and then that way those gripple hooks are grabbing that wire. And then all you do is tighten it up. Now we're just getting them snug right now. We'll tighten them up much more later. We're just trying to get them all in there and get them out of the way. All right, so what you have to do, what I'm doing is I'm putting two at the top and two at the bottom and then every other one. Uh, these staples, I'm gonna show you again, I know we've talked about it, but see that bevel on it? That bevel will drive this leg that way and this bottom leg that way. So what you have to do is put it at like a 20 degree angle and this one's a little that way, this one's a little that way. You want to stagger them. So, and you don't want to drive them in the whole way. The whole purpose of this uh, high tensile field fence is that it can stretch and slide in these staples. So it's important that you don't drive them in the whole way. Don't drive them tight. It needs to move, all right? really should have showed you the really cool tool that Philip had. I wish he'd let me be, use it. But he had a propane piston driven stapler. And it you could set the depth on it and it would just boom. And it's there. Really cool. Really cool. We should have showed that. I wasn't thinking. So anyway. Alright, so we just 
unrolled this roll down here, clear up to here. It goes way down to that corner. So we're about to attach that end, and then we're gonna stretch and attach that end. So stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna lift the fence up. We're gonna attach this end using the gripples, and then we'll take the truck and everything. We'll go up the other end and stretch this thing out. All right, so we got this attached to this termination pole. Now we're gonna drive the truck up there. We're gonna hook up the wedges and the stretcher bar, and we're gonna stretch this fence row and then tie off on the other end. So stay tuned. All right, so now we're gonna take, we're gonna mount the stretcher bar to the fence, or the fence to the stretcher bar, however you wanna say it. But I wanna show you this first. There's a top and a bottom. These big shapes here are at the top, the small ones at the bottom. Okay, the wedges go down top to bottom. So you gotta keep in mind it's top of the fence. So we're gonna slide this under the fence and put in the wedge.
wedges hold on to, hold on to every strand of the fence. So you gotta get it to where it's right about in the middle of it. purpose stretcher bar and you can see this one is at the wrong spot for this size fence All right, so this all needs to be straight. If it twists or spins any, uh, those jaws can miss and you can have a big problem with your hands. So we wanna make sure that that is straight. And it is. All right. All this does it'll just walk itself up here once I get it so why don't you come over here all right so it just works like this it just keeps climbing its way up and sometimes you might have to just ease it up there a little bit but it works its way up the chain And we'll hook the bottom one up in a little bit, probably about now. So that's that's getting tight already, but you can see it still hadn't popped that fence up. about all this. I'll be glad when it's over. Cool. So we got the, the fence all stretched out. 
and we started in the middle, put a couple of these in, get it tight. Now I'm going to go to the top and the bottom, and hopefully that will work. So it's kind of the same process as down on the other end, but we have to tighten it and put the gripples in place. And I put these staples in. I shouldn't have put them in the whole way on this end post. What'll happen is if something big and heavy like a truck would push in on that, it would cause that whole fence post to twist and spin because of that staple. So we're gonna take that out. Okay, on the bottom, this is attached different. So what you have to do, where's the pliers? You have to grab it on the one end and then back it off with that long piece and then it's loose enough that you can slide it off. You definitely want to wear gloves because you would snag your hand on everything along here. All these little ends, they're all kind of sharp. So now I can just slide them up here, get them out of the way, and then cut this. And it's the same thing, put the gripples on. Ready? Okay. Everything's still tight. See the old truck shape? <laughs> All right. All right, so we got a lot done over quite a few days. You can see this fence here, and basically all the fence is up. Uh, this portion of fence, which cuts across our property, is completely done. We've got it all attached to the fence post, and it's done done. Uh, the others, we still have to attach it to the post. Uh, it won't take long to do that. Uh, it's just a matter of getting her done. So uh, I think for now, we're going to call it uh, good for this part 10. So um, don't forget, his way is the best way. We'll see you next time. God bless.